What is up YouTube, Luca here, I'm with my first PvE build for the Deadlands on my Magicka Nightblade with still Barzais on the body, one Harpunus Vedi killed, a Smithic item, one Slime Core for extra crit, and Kinras, yes Kinras on the front bar which gives Major Berserk and Minor Berserk for your mates, pretty strong. Alternative you could go with advancing your Kida here or still with Mother Sorrow or Medusa and for Barzai's still Ceroria. On the back bar, like always, the Milesome Inferno stuff. Trades full divines, then 6 light, 1 medium with kilt, full spare damage, full bloodthirsty on the jewelry. Then two daggers for extra crit rate, one in Nirn for extra spell damage with the flame damage enchant, and offhand charged, they buff charge now, it needs a ton of status effect. I have poison here, you can also put a flame damage enchant and a poison here, but I had poison offhand better results. You can also go with precise here, or double charged if you prefer back by infused with the berserker glyph like always skills the same like previous patch debilitate as dot impale as execute elemental weapon as spammable in raids you could go with let me check swallow soul if you prefer for more healing but elemental weapon deeds 1 to 2k more dps they also change merciless resolve it gives spell damage instead of crit damage, 60 spell damage each stack, a total of 300 more spell damage. Then degeneration as extra dot, you can put in a light here if you prefer, but I like the extra dot pressure more. Incap as ultimate for sustain, twisting path, unstable wall of fire. Barb Trap for Minor Force with Medusa. You could slot Mystic Orb here if you can sustain it. Siphoning Attacks for Sustain. Dark Shade. And again, Incap just slotted for extra crit rate. But in raids, I recommend to use the Death Ultimate. I only swap it for dummy passes after I used the Ultimate. With Dressing Room, for example, it's easy peasy. Race Dark Elf is more change here. Khajiit is not best in slot anymore because they changed the crit damage hard cap to 125%. We are at 127%, so perfect, only 2% over crit damage. As Mundus, the Thief, for extra crit rate. Ghastly Eyeball as sustained food in raids, you can use the Arteum. Or the other one, the Max Magica and Max Health Hood. 64 points in Magica. Potions, like always, the spare power potions. CPs, a small change here. Daddy Aim, Master at Arms, and Taumaturge. And Backstabber, so instead of Fighting Finesse, since we already have the crit damage cap, we use Taumaturge here for extra dot damage. Red CPs, Bounders Vitality, Fortified, Rejuvenation, if you have already enough sustain, like in raids or dungeons, we can put Rejuvenation out for something else, like for example, Slippery or Bastion, that kind of stuff. Siphoning Spells as a last recipe. Now enjoy the pass, don't get irritated by the dual animation, it's still bugged. I only did light attacks, not medium or heavy attacks, so don't worry. I will post you the rotation explanation in the description below. It's from the previous patch, but still the same. The only changes is instead of zero where I use bar size, which means try to keep your max magicka pool as low as possible to increase your damage. In raids, it's easier, you have more synergies and support sets. On a dummy, kinda tricky but we get to use it after a couple of tries. If you have questions about rotation, type it in the comment section below. I will try to answer them and go with as fast as possible. Enjoy!
that's it with my PvE Magic Kniper build for the Deadlands. Stay tuned for a ton of more PvE builds. Thanks for watching. I wish you all a fantastic day and I see you hopefully in the next video. Ciao!